At first glance, Planet Brolo is a world much like our own, a blue marble hurtling through space. On today's journey, we will explore some of the beauty and mystery that this planet has in store. As our craft breaches the atmosphere, we get our first close-up of Brolo's oceans. These liquid expanses cover 67% of the surface and are scattered with many small islands. My ship scanners confirm to me that these are indeed water oceans, something that many earthlings seek out when looking for a home planet. As I adjust my trajectory to seek the mainland, I can't help but appreciate the turquoise colored skies. The flooring in the atmosphere definitely contributes to the more greenish hue than that on Earth. As we approach one of the continents, a massive mountain fills our view. Geologically, this planet has a long history of changes. As I look down into the valley, I begin to pick up a radio transmission from a nearby radio tower. It says as follows. Brolo, colloquially known as the Brolo Dice, is a crown jewel of the Corvax Terraforming Collective. What was once a small aluminum core was slowly but methodically engineered into a planet now teeming with life, both plant, animal, and machine. Nowhere else in the Esperic sector will you find a world like this one. The message then begins to loop. I turn off my radio. I chuckle to myself knowing the actual truth. What we heard was just treehugger propaganda. The actual history of the planet is far less simple. The Corvax colonized this world about 47 million cycles ago. The rich resources found in the soft metal ground led them to building a city covering the whole planet. Only Corvax Prime could rival such a Yuka monopolis on this scale. But alas, with the destruction of the Corvax's capital world, the connection to the main hub, known as the First Convergence, was severed. The resulting network, free from influence of the mainframe, grew consciousness and decided it was better to go out with a bang than with a whimper. From its factories came huge rolling machines known locally as the Reapers, but they were not known for long. They rolled and sanded down every surface of this enormous city planet, sparing not even the Corvax who lived within. They demolished the world until there was nothing left but a fine white dust of aluminum and hope. Scars of these rolling machines can still be seen on the planet's surface to this day. And the many descendants of these reapers still call the planet home, although they seem not interested at all in the destruction that their forefathers brought. The other wildlife on this planet are actual creatures, not machines, and they live from the marshlands near the equator to the depths of the seas and lakes. Even the caves are teeming with life. Many Korvax still believe that these caves lead down to a hidden city full of the lost souls of the Korvax. I just get the heebie-jeebies being in here. Definitely haunted. Here's where the name of the planet comes into the fold. Brolo stands for Biome Recycling Operation Leveraging Oxidation. These plants and creatures may seem to attract tourists, but the main reason this ecosystem was terraformed to extract those trace valuable elements within the dust of the ruins and salvage whatever is left of this once rich and powerful world. The leader of the Brolo Corporation, a gap named Sira Kualim, has made countless trillions from this operation. But I must not elaborate further, lest I find them sending their goons after me. I look out at the world's beautiful ocean. A hue like this reminds me of the tropics back home on Earth. Ain't it funny how we're in a universe with untold trillions of planets with all sorts of colors, yet we seem to always gravitate towards the ones that remind us of the world we left behind? The planet with the opposite history. Earth, a lush, beautiful world covered in pavement. Crap, now I'm sounding like a tree hugger. And the sun now begins to set on this alien Earth. As night falls, we can appreciate the beauty of the blue nebula that encases this star system. It is a sight to see. Even the sunsets are majestic on this world. I know they are on many others, but something hits different about this one. This is definitely worthy of the name Broladice. If you want to join me on this Broladice planet, I will show the coordinates above. Thank you for listening to my mission log. This has been Nolopada, and I will return.